Bye, as you say, and welcome to the Great Preparation, by which I mean, this is the season when we finally upgrade the size of the base. Biggles, what happened to you? What the? What happened, Biggles? Oh my lord, oh, it's a rat! I forgot about the rats! Oh my lord! Okay, well, we killed all the rats. That wasn't that... <laughs> completely forgot about those rats. All right, anyway, since the last episode, I spent like four bajillion hours trying to figure out like what the difference is between all of these four billion things as well as all of these four billion things as well as a bunch of other cool things like all of these things. And I think I have an idea. It did take me like I could have probably recorded like two episodes the amount of time I spent like researching all that stuff. But here's the plan. Uh, we're going to get prepared up. It's the first of April, May. We can go through the summer, uh, harvest a bunch of stuff, make a bunch of meals, make a bunch of jerk meat, some cheeses, get our cows and stuff going like that. Then I'm going to send a raiding party out sort of towards the end of the summer. I'm going to do another split raid this time. Uh, and I'm not quite sure where we're going to go. we will figure it out maybe later. I, eventually, I want to go up here and crush these guys. I think they might be the next target. Or I come down here and crush Brykes over the forest at some point. I want to come crush one of these society places, these giant, uh, whatever these things are. I'm not even sure, like medieval factions or something. Uh, so I'm going to work towards that. But before I do, I'm going to expand the base. You can see I laid in some plans here uh, very briefly on the left side. That's where I'm expanding that. And also pretty much right here where this whole line of stuff is. Hold on. What is all this fire? Are you guys putting that out? Yeah, you are. All right, great. Uh, I've also kind of planned out some ideas to upgrade this. Additionally, I've only just now, after many, many, many whiles learned, you can make non-steel braziers. I, I had no idea. Let's make some slate ones. I'm going to put them right here and right there. Awesome. And then speaking of slate, let's come into the structure and go... Also, my mouse is definitely dying, so sometimes it's double-clicking or whatever. That's why I'm having difficulties controlling stuff. But anyway, we're going to do some slate blocks here to match the slate walls. And I'm gonna oh my lord, I can't even I can't even hold the mouse button down. It's like impossible. I got a single click. I gotta buy a new mouse. Uh, in any event, we're gonna fill this in so it's like the actual formation that I want. That's gonna be really cool when it happens. Uh, and then lastly, let's come in and mine away all of this stuff right here. So we have a nice big entrance that goes straight in three tiles wide. That's gonna be super cool. Super duper cool. Meanwhile, you guys can speed up. I also uh, reorganize this stuff off screen a little bit too, because it was a little annoying. I put all the jerk meats in the pots because they look like they kind of fit. Although that's that's a little bit weird, but whatever. And I also supposedly get the kibble out of these ones. Uh, if I... Did I get the kibble out of these ones? I should have. Yes, I did. All right. They just haven't been moved yet. And now they've been moved. Uh, next up... Let's see here. What do we need to do? Tomb. I already did that. Fires. I think we took care of the door. Wait, no. No, no, no. Recycling the clothes. Right. We have all these things here. I'm going to finally start recycling them now that we have the time to do that sort of stuff. So, let's come in and disassemble apparel. So, the cue for this... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Malaria again? Guys, I mean, you know what? I bet I don't even have to touch this and they'll all just get it all taken care of. While they're working on that, though, let's come in to disassemble a barrel. And here's the plan. We're going to disassemble basically every single thing that has hit points below 90% of essentially any quality. I guess I'll I'll do like awful through excellent just in case there's a masterwork thing. Now nah, just do it literally every quality. Anything that's even remotely beaten up or broken, just be just completely disassemble it. Awesome. Uh, and let's whoa, let's come back to that really quick. Uh, do it forever, and let's actually move that probably right up to the top of the list so that happens before everything else. Uh, speaking of everything else happening, let's come over here to the blacksmith thing and do something very similar. Oh wait, no, it's the uh, it's the blacksmith the smelter, right? Let's smelt metal from armor. We're going to smelt all armors that are, let's see, do this forever, that are below, let's say, 90% quality. I think that's good. Uh, and the same deal probably for the weapons. Smelt weapons uh, do forever. And we're going to do this, anything that's below 90%. Now I kind of wish I didn't sell all my weapons before because I really need steel. Like, that's going to be the ginormous holdup because I am indeed going to queue up a whole bunch of awesome steel things. Uh, before I do, though, let's finish up or make this room a lot cooler than it is. Let's reinstall that thing, the brazier. Ah, uh, I don't know where to put it, actually. I suppose I'll put it right there. This here bench we can reinstall up here because we're sitting there all the time crafting. Makes a lot of sense. Hey, speaking of, I kind of need some more benches. Do we have any spare ones that I barely ever use? Yeah, like how often are we really using, like, brewing benches? Probably never. Let's reinstall that over here. Wait a minute, I can't? Space already occupied? Really? Interesting. Huh. Okay. 
Well, I guess we can't do that there then. That's that's a fascinating thing. Not that it really matters. Don't care about it. I'll just leave it alone then. Uh, this this bench here, I'm going to actually try one more time putting it back in here in the bear's room and see if it works. We'll see if that works. And then lastly, I really want to move this manager's desk someplace, but where the heck would I put that? Who? Well, first of all, who is the manager right now? It's Server Cat. Server Cat's also the mayor. All right. Well, in that case, why don't we install this bench, like, in her room someplace? Back here? Does that make sense? Sort of? It's not, like, the coolest looking thing I've ever seen in my life. It's either that or up here. I think it would be more senseful. Yeah. And I don't really like it either way. We could put it right there near the down. I don't like that. I don't like... I don't really like... It anywhere in this room. But we're gonna put it right there, I suppose. Basically, I want to clear out this entire room. Uh, once this room is cleared, go to medieval here. Let's switch the. I already switched combat stands to slate. Apparently, you can make them out of that. That's pretty cool. We're gonna put a whole bunch of stuff in here. Uh, hold on, we got an eclipse. Let's check them malaria. Everyone get treated all right? Yep, we got all the treatments up, Peter. Don't even care. I can just ignore malaria. That's how well set up this colony is. It is fantastic. Speaking of well set up, let's actually assign the animals here very briefly. All of the dogs, all of the working dogs that are not juveniles and are trained. So it looks like from here up. We're going to set them to unrestricted for a little while. Mostly because I'm actually mining steel all over the place and I want them to haul it rather than anyone else. Speaking of mining steel, can I come in here and go for orders do a bit of the old mining? Oh wait, do I have to actually select the steel? Select similar? Yeah, all of those things mine. Much easier. Let's grab some more. Oh, it's so hard to do it with a mouse that doesn't actually hold itself down. <laughs> Okay, select similar. No, I just, I, j wow. Oh god, this is gonna be painful. I have to press it like I really, really, really want to break it or something, okay? So we'll do stuff like that. This must be fun to watch. That's mine, all that's, yeah, okay, forget it. Just forget it, whatever. I know there's a mod that allows you to mine, like, the vein. I probably should get that. Mental Break, Psychite, Binge on Osnog. You know, Osnog does have a chemical interest. What's the deal with Osnog's dependencies? Alcohol tolerance, small, but that's it. Psychoid tea, eh, fine, sure. I mean, there are worse things to do than, than binge on Psychoid tea. I mean, if that's what you want to do with your life, then go for it. Uh, meanwhile, we're actually putting these things in at least a little bit with the slate here. That's fine by me. Uh, lastly... Lastly, what do I have? I can't read my own writing here. What kind of... Oh, cowhide. I wanted to put something up here based on the last episode. Uh, this thing, we're, we're not going to have any more mufalo leathers, like, pretty much ever. So let's get rid of the deer... Or the... No, we do want the cow skin. We want to get rid of the mufalo leather. Right. Nope. Uncheck it. There we go. Awesome. Because we're basically going to have cowhide. I did notice I had a bunch of bulls here when the episode started, but then they've all run off. Speaking of bulls running off, I have an idea. Let's make a new... Hold on, let me slow down just a little bit here. Let's make a new... I don't need to slow down at all. What's it called? A new area. For some reason, I can't find where areas are. It's like my brain isn't working. It's not manager, it's not medical, it's not restrict, it's not a sign. Oh, that's why. Is it manage area? It's way the heck up there. Wow, because I have a billion animals now? I see. Uh, in any event, here we go. New animal area. This new animal area, too, we're going to rename it. I'm going to call this animal area Slaughter. That sounds about right. Awesome. Close. Get rid of this. And let's come over here to the zone area. Let's expand the allowed areas for the animal slaughter. And we're literally going to slaughter the animals right there. <laughs> right outside in the dark, like, butcher alley. It's going to be awesome. Then when I come into this manager mod... And I go to slaughtering, and I click on all the guys who are going to be slaughter. Let's restrict animals designated to slaughter. Let's restrict them to the slaughter zone. Awesome. Super awesome. And then I'll also do the same thing for cow if we're going to kill some. That way they come up there and the blood goes in the street, like not in the rooms and all that. So people don't have to see it. Right into the slaughter. Fantastic. And the Labrador Retrievers. Well, if we're going to restrict anybody, we will restrict them to the same thing. I don't know if we're going to slaughter any of those anytime soon. Speaking of this, I don't want any juvenile males. We're going to go for zero. Juvenile females, we're going to keep probably at least 10 of them, I suppose. Not sure how many adult female chickens. I want to go for 20, maybe, I guess. I want to change that up a little bit, and we're done. Cool. All right, now, another thing I don't need is all these fires. Now that it's warm, did I select all the fires? Yes, I did. Let's deconstruct them and save on some uh, wood for the... Oh, poor guys, they're all getting murdered, all, all the male roosters. Choppy choppy! Every single one of them. Awesome. Look at that, the blood's getting cleaned up almost instantaneously. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. 
Look at all this jerked meat. 93 jerked meat. Okay. Labrador is coming over, eating up some stuff. How's the steel doing? We're up to 19. Cold snap. Oh, that's actually pretty good because we don't have the growing season for three more days. But I just destroyed all, destroyed all my fires, though. So, <laughs> all right, let's go back and put in some new fires, shall we? Uh, campfire here, a campfire there. Yep, campfire there. I know there's one in the middle there. And I think there was one in here, and that was about it. That was literally, it's like, delete, bam, cold snap. Let's see if people come in here and start using this room again. I don't think they actually do, right? All these plants are dying from cold, no surprise. Server cat used it, but that's her room. Nobody else is using that room. This is going to work out absolutely fantastically, I believe. I believe. Speaking of believing, let's come in and do a few wall, not, not walls, floors. Uh, more floors. No, actually, this is a basic floor and rough paving slate. We're finally going to get around to doing all this stuff, which I'm sure a lot of people have been asking me for for a hundred episodes. Bam, we'll do all of this stuff. Great. You're in there. You're there. Here, here, here. Great. You know what? It's going to do essentially the whole thing. Awesome. Wow, look how unbelievably efficient this colony. I'm not even doing anything, and everything is completely and utterly fine. Mental break, hide in room. I'm not sure if that's fine, necessarily. I want to finish this up first, though, before I bother to take a look at that. This all looks good. Nope, the streets come all the way over there. Great. This street should really come all the way over here. Fantastic. Uh, this this street should really be one more wide than it is. Good, same deal here. And I think that's pretty much everything. For now, anyway. There's going to be more to do in the future, and also stuff to do out here. But I'm not too concerned with that just yet. Now, did those braziers get put in? No, they didn't, because we have no access, because we put the walls in. The front wall of all things, but we have yet to finish this. Or if, if dig that out. We'll, we'll get around to it eventually. It'll work. Who's hiding in the room? Ellis. Well, that makes sense because Ellis has an incredibly high break threshold. Like asinine. Absolutely asininely high. Whoa. Why is... Oh, there we go. Group of Arabs from the Caliphate of Caliph Gamid al Madani have arrived nearby. They'll prepare for a while, then they'll attack. Prepare your defenses. Also, this is Dot's... Wait, Arabic warrior stink bug. Is this Dot's daughter? I think this is actually... Let's go take a look here. That says blue. Where is... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. Where the heck is Stinkbug? There she is. Oh, that's... No, no, no. This is... This is Dot's father. Ah, so there's a chance we could, like, get him or something into the colony. What's his character all about? He's apparently 47 years old. He's a jealous, hard worker who's psychically... Or, uh, psychically hypersensitive who's basically only good at shooting, and that's it. <laughs> He's pretty bad, actually. Uh, Dot, how old are you? You're 29. Okay, guess he had you when you were 18 or something. Sounds fine to me. Now, back to the animals, though. Let's get all the animals back into the working dogs. We don't have to worry about them getting eaten. Everybody else is inside in a pretty safe place. The entire colony... Oh, Ge uh, Geisha? 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 I think Geisha, rather. Is out here sleeping in, like, the weirdest place, but we'll live with that. I suppose. Hopefully they don't go after it, but nothing I can do about it right now. Everything else looks pretty good, so we can probably just get an alert and get down here and murder everyone in the near future. Not, not quite necessary just yet, though. Not quite. Oh, look at that. 324 steel. Did my Labradors go steel hauling for me? I bet they did. Oh, there's some more up there. Select similar. Fantastic. Mine. Where is there more? Find me more, friends. Find me more. Here's some more. Great. We'll grab that. Mine. I'm trying to hold the mouse button down like super, super, super hard so it's working. Oh, yeah. We actually have done a ton of mining here, actually. All right. Let's mine that up. Anything else over here? No. Over there? Nope. Over here is already pretty much done. So is in there. Some steel's actually in there waiting to be hauled. And, ooh, there's a ton down here, though. Grab all of that, mine. Yeah, we're going all out steel, super steel productions. We're going to murder all kinds of guys. And then we're probably actually, sadly, getting sort of close to the end of this campaign. I don't know what the winning conditions are, but we also might lose just from dying. But I'm feeling like we had wood armor when we invaded the barbarians last time. This time we're going to have like steel and stuff. It's going to be crazy. Wow, did they actually mine these out already? Let's go for more mining. Awesome. Now, 
You guys ready? Probably the whole colony is just about ready to attack us. So on alert, everybody in. Great. Uh, let's grab Alma as per usual. No, 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 not Alma. I will, I will move her down here though. But let's grab Dot and have her come down and man the ballista. How's our uh, malaria? 75, 78. Grigri's at 78, 85. We're looking good. Constantine's at 72, 79. Alma's at 80, 91. But she'll be fine. And the Arabs are attacking. They're attacking Alma. Let's come in here and actually rest until healed. Someone hopefully will go out there and tend to you. Uh, let's get Osnog a little bit more over there. It looks like otherwise, though, pretty much everyone's in a good position here, I think. The Felt doesn't really have a huge amount to do here with his melee weapon, but, you know, it's all right. Oleg also. You know what, Oleg, can we switch you over briefly? Looks good. Are they coming in or are they going out here to murder Geisha? <laughs> Probably. Probably. All right, friends, come on in. If we get the opportunity here, we have to capture... I forget who it was. Um, Snapper Doodle or, or Grasshopper or Yipper Snapper. I, I honestly, oh, the, there's Grasshopper. No, Stink Bug. That's it. Oh my God! They look at that. Those fur. See you later, Gage. That's what you get for sleeping outside. Yep, like 700 people are going to attack her. How did I know that was going to be the case? The AI in this game doesn't even like use logical, senseful things or believable things. It's just like, oh, what would make the player really, really angry? Let's make him do that. Even though it's going to cost, like, it's seriously, 50 guys invade. Do you honestly think they're going to run around while being shot at by arrows and then murder a dog? Well, I guess technically speaking, it's kind of, oh, stink bug is out there. Come on, guys, take him down, but don't kill him. That's Dot's father. It's Dot's father. Oh, sorry, Dot. I hope you don't go on like 17 mental breaks. Oh, God, Nisha's out here now. We got to get prepared because Nisha's running out to, to haul the corpses, like, already. I got to get ready. That's, I knew that animal hauling zone would get us freaking screwed over. Come on, guys. Take them down. We're out in the open. Oh, yeah, we just put down Nisha ourselves, and in they come. Whew, and out they go. I knew that would happen. I absolutely knew it. Did I not say? Everyone's like, let the dogs go into the freaking corpse spot. Look what happens. Instantaneously. Like, it's, it, it actually works out super, super, super bad, too, because... They automatically, as soon as the guy falls down, they come out and they're like, okay, let's let's bring that person like into the, the pile. And then it's right in the middle of the raid. And of course the raid is like, oh my God, there's a dog? Kill it! Everyone sacrifice your lives to kill one dog. Pretty much like how the raiders think. Anywho's, let's uh, unforbid everything on the map. And let's come to the animals and let's make sure that we never, ever, ever let that happen again. Let's... Clear the allowed area for working dogs. Yes, working dogs, no. Never again. Never again, working dogs. Never again. Never again. Uh, otherwise, though, things are looking good. Do we want to capture any of these guys? Probably not. Arabs are super hard to recruit here. So I don't think it's going to be possible. We're kind, optimist, and nervous over here. Hmm. We got animals, a little bit of growing. Incapable of dumb labor, though. Yeah, I'm just not seeing this being all that great. I mean, maybe Crocodile could be a good friend to many, many people, but how about Gray? Gray's a hard worker shooter who's outdoorsy, but he basically doesn't like to do anything else besides mining. How about Blue? Blue's actually up and at him here, surprisingly. Gray, uh, Blue is too smart, greedy, super social, and that's about it. Yeah, I'll pass. Brana, what's your character all about? Pyromania chemical fascination with greedy. Uh, delete. And last but not least, we have a bunny here taking up residence on... Oh, wait, no. I thought there was a character here. That's just an unconscious rabbit randomly. Interesting. Do I want to strip these guys of whatever gear they have? Probably not. Bunch of like 20% cloaks and all. Oh, there we go. Dot came out here and got super aggressive. Executed that guy and now off they go. Oh, that's amazing. Dot, you're the best. Any wounds that we suffered though? Looks like only Jaina took a very small couple of cuts. And of course, poor Nisha here well, had her tail destroyed. Oh, God. What about Geisha, though? Where did she go? I... Oh, is that... Is the felts taken care of her right now? Speaking of the felts... Do I need to... Not felts, but Oleg. I need to switch back to the mining thing, because he is indeed our miner. Come on, felts. What are you doing? Are you saving Geisha, or is she dead? Oh, my lord! The felts go in... Oh, what? Why? Felts! Oh, my lord! He's stabbing all my hands! What the... I freaking heard the rest of all the places to go in a sadistic thing. You go into a thing and start murdering all my chickens? Get in here, guys! Before the felt executes every chicken we've ever had. 
It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, now he's outside, though. Feltz, you better watch out, friend. We have killed people for for lesser crimes in this colony. We are here. To, we, our eye is on you. You turn around and, and shoot solo. It'll be the last thing you ever do. I don't care if we need miners and you're the best miner in the town. I don't care. I don't care. Come on, Feltz. Make a move. Make a move. Yeah, that's right. Get in there. Drink it off. Well, wow, that's a lot of freaking alcohol. Oh, my God. Um, Feltz. I can't believe that. He went to go save Geisha and actually... Oh, she's even pregnant middle stage and sitting there, like, getting... Bleeding out on the ground. Who's our best doctor? Probably Constantine. Constantine, can you come over here and prioritize tending? Oh, Code is doing it. No, I'd rather have Constantine do it. I guess everyone else can get off of alert. Felt seems to have calmed down. What the heck was that all about? Ugly... What ugly environment? This environment's incredibly good. You're urgently hungry. I think that was the bigger issue because we made you stand out there. And you saw a bunch of corpses because we just killed a bunch of guys. I mean, calm down. Slept in cold, sick, and... Oh, you're also sick, too, with the malaria. Nisha is miscarried due to poor health. Uh, poor, 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 poor. Very poor. Uh, geisha has got four hours here. Constantine, you want to get on this? There we go. Oh, my lord. Ellis no longer hiding it. Trump has been stabbed to death by Feltz. Look at this, guys. Trump has been stabbed to death. Little Trump, just executed by Feltz, walking down the street. What kind of character walks around murdering puppies and beating hens to death? It's insanity. Luckily, we have 10 million. I was just really worried about him coming in here and killing, like, the one rooster or whatever, and then I couldn't make any more, and then this one wouldn't grow up. Oh, that is so dangerous. That is the only... Th this has happened to me every time I've had, like, roosters or hens or whatever in any game. Somehow one of them died, like a coal snap or a fox attack or like a fire melted them or something happened and then the, the whole like pen of them was obliterated. We can recover from this though because luckily Feltz didn't kill all of Oh, he's going, he's on, he's going. He's a melee attacking cow. No, you're not, Feltz. No, you're not. Guess what? That's it. We're done with you. Put him down, guys. There we go. Feltz has been stabbed to death. And guess what, Feltz? You're not even getting a freaking coffin. We don't even care. Nobody cares. God, it's ridiculous. What is with the sadism break? It's just ri absolutely ridiculous. What was the Feltz's character, though? I don't even have any idea. Well. <laughs> there goes the Feltz. Don't even know what his character was all about, but he's gone now. He is gone now. It's so easy to murder colonists. And then it's so difficult to replace them. Like, how many people have we killed that are just, just for killing puppies on the streets? Like, three now? I think wu Ten, Peter Ratchet, and the Felts. How many people have we recruited who padded puppies in the streets? Answer, zero. How many people have we recruited by locking them in a room for four years and, like, just berating them until they joined us? Uh, pretty much the entire colony. Mental break paranoia on Drigri for ugly environment. Animal starvation from all of my hens. That's right. It's also a cold snap. So if we let them, we are completely out of hay now. Uh, and we have no more vegetables and we have nothing else we can feed them. I suppose the plan is all hens, you're going to have to be temporarily assigned uh, to the animal zone. And hopefully you actually go outside and eat. Right there. Hen, rooster, hen, hen, hen. That's good. You guys get out. Go eat maybe. Yeah. Just go out, out wherever you need to go and eat. Or you just walk into the streets and freeze to death at night because you have a cold snap. I don't know. Either one. It's fine by me. What actually is the zone here? Expand allowed areas for animal area one. They are allowed out here, but no one... The cows and alpacas are out here, though, now that I'm looking at it, I think. Yeah, those are definitely our cows and our alpacas. There is actually, now that I look at it, zero grass on the ground for them to eat. Okay. Well, this is what happens every time. All my hens and stuff die from something like this. Like, there's a cold snap, no grass grows back, and we run out of food just barely. Could I feed them? I can't even make kibble. I could... What do hens eat? They probably eat all kinds of stuff. Uh, if we come in here, they eat vegetables. We don't have any seeds. We don't have any live plants. None. Meals. Okay. I think jerked meats count as meals. Processed foods, kibble, and liquor. I could have feed them this kind of meat. Let's come up here and uh, expand the allowed area. You know what? Why don't we put them back on the chickens and actually let the chickens come up here? 
Maybe that will work. At least then we'll be able to see more directly. Chicken. No, that's an alpaca. So all of you guys and alpacas over there. Great. And, 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 and all good. Can you guys come up here and eat this meat? Will you eat the meat? Yes, you will. Hens will eat jerk meats. Sure. All right. That'll take care of my animal starvation issues. Sort of. Kind of maybe. I mean, they can eat more. Yep. They're kind of just running around. Why do they go through the doors instead of around through the streets? I don't know. Who knows with these hens? I don't know. How do they even open the doors in the first place is a good question. Still got the animal starvation on hens 7 and 8, but I think we'll get those taken care of. As long as they don't die, we can we can uh, feed them some more food or something later. I don't know. But what is this thing here? Steel mace? Let's un unforbid that. Mental break compulsion now on Ulma from experiencing acute pain. But why, Ulma? But why really? Exposed to paranoid ramblings, plus you're sick with the malaria, even though you've developed an immunity. Disturbed sleep, feeling bad, one out of the parallel colonists died. That's true, we did murder Felts there. We did murder the Felts, but if you're gonna go on a puppy murdering spree, we're just gonna kill you. Like, that's all there is to say about it. He murdered, like, one puppy, tried to kill a cow, of all things, in the middle of the street. Uh, killed, like, three hens. It was just, it's just absurd. One should be enough. I don't think you need to kill 37 animals because you go on with, like, a little fit. It's a little, a little much. Animal starvation, we got that taken care of. One colonist is idle, that server cat. Did I ever give her work to do? Um, I did give her art to make, and I forgot that I don't have any more art for anyone to make. So, we could make more rugs, though. Always make more rugs. We have tons and tons and tons of stuff. Let's make a ton of large rugs. I kind of want some small rugs as well. Let's toss those in. A uh, small rug, and you know what? Let's make, like, five of them. We can put them all over the place. We're just going to be rugged all out. Rugged out. How's the, how's the treatment here? Dregory, 89.95. You're fine, even though you've been on a mental break this whole time. 80, 89. You're good, too. All right. Well, now, back to what I was doing like a million years ago when I started the episode. Um, oh, that's not the right thing. Let's actually cancel that. We're going to make a... This is the armory right here. So we're probably going to do something like that. I have some plans for this. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm also going to make separate suits of armor and stuff for various uh, different characters. So... The first thing I want to do is I want to make bracers. Let's start out with bracers. Now, the archer's bracers are incredible. So we're going to make some of those for the archers. We're going to do this until we have X. I'm going to come in and we're going to reduce that to 1. And we want to make sure that the crafting skill is... Well, it already has a minimum of 10, so we don't have to worry about that so much. Counted items filter. We're going to make this uh, 54. Great. Sure. And what we're going to do is take it to the best stockpile. Do until you have X, and that's perfect. Uh, now, the cool thing about the Archer's Bracers is they give you 7.5% shooting accuracy, which seems absurdly powerful to me. Also, 5% melee hit and 5% work speed and 25% uh, blunt protection and 40% sharp protection on all fingers. Uh, so that's going to be for all the Archers. But we're going to make another Bracer, or I guess they're going to be technically gauntlets for the melee characters. We only have a few of the melee characters, but I'm going to have two different sets of gear, one for melee characters and one for ranged characters. So I think the plan here is we're going to go for... I think the royal plated gauntlets are better. Actually, full plated. Hold on. I'm not even sure I remember what these do. So full plated versus royal plated. Let's, let's see what this is. Full plated is 50 work for 25 steel, 25 blunt, 40 sharp. Uh, but you get melee hit 5, work speed 10. Uh, however, the royal ones here are melee hit 10, work speed 2.5, but 30, 50. So... We're going to go for the royal ones. Let's get rid of that. Great. Same deal. Do until X. I'm going to make the X a 1. It's some kind of issue here. A mad animal of a border variety. All right. We'll hunt that. Someone will get on it. Oleg, you can do it. Jaina, you can do it. Come on out. Get ready. Get ready, the two of you. Actually, Oleg, probably get a little bit closer here. Go for it, Oleg. Rip that thing to shreds. That poor rabbit's been out there unconscious this whole time. And now a fox. It's a drunk rabbit. I thought I took care of all those stupid drunk rabbits. That was from like a hundred years ago, there was animals in here, but I don't understand how they could be getting in. I've got the bill or the work order set up to assassinate all animals that come in the door. Somehow that rabbit managed to- oh! Ah! The, uh, one of the raiders was knocked out with beer, the rabbit ran over and drank it, and then was summarily drunk, and a fox came over and killed it. I wonder how many times in real life that has happened, honestly. Like if you had some, like, divine knowledge. I, I would be I would be very curious to know. But anyway, 
Uh, let's get back to what I was doing here, which was the armor. So that's the first thing. That's the bracers. The second thing we're going to go for here, let's turn up the speed a little bit. Everyone is pretty good. Everything's pretty fine, right? Animal starvation still on Hen 8, but Hen 8 is not allowed out there. I see. Because we ran out of food for it. Let's expand the allowed area for chickens. You know what? We're going to allow them to eat all of our meals. That is so... There we go. Until they're just... Until they can go out and graze. Is it grazing time? Is the cold snap over? Not quite. And there's no grass out here anyway. So, oh well. We'll just, we'll, we'll live through it is all. We'll just live right through it. Now, back to this for like the 14th time. Not the armors yet. I want to do boots. So, what the heck just happened? Something must have gone on revenge and then we instantly killed it. So, for boots... I think we want the royal plated boots. I know, it's, it's difficult to decide here. So... Full-plated boots, encased steel boots. I think the full-plated boots are the heavy ones. I can't remember. No, movement speed plus 8. That's awesome with 2540. Uh, but then over here, you only get movement speed 5. So you lose 3%, but you get 3050. And these are going to be for the melee characters. So that looks pretty good to me. Let's do this until we have X. Uh, do until we have X. Also, I got to come in and set these things up to 52. Some kind of issue. Mental break, sad wanderer on bagels. From wearing tattered apparel. Biggles, I'm literally working on that right now. Right now, Biggles. 53, good enough to me. And let's go down to one. And the same deal over here, down to one. Great, so we have bracers and boots set up. We just need two more things. Ellis, what are you actually working on? You're working right now on the plated gauntlets. Cool. Uh, let's go take a look on severe illness, Drigri. Right, you did have the malaria, 92, 97. You'll be fine. Anxiety, 10, 10, you're good. You were just on a mental break so long you didn't get a treatment, that's why you haven't beaten it yet, but otherwise, it's fine. Oleg, you're obviously having a big issue here as well. And the big issue is, my father's stink bug died. Wait a minute. Oh, that's, uh, that's Dot. I thought I clicked on Oleg. Oh, Dot and Oleg are having it. I must have clicked and, like, Dot showed up at the same time or something. Had to rebuff Oleg. Colonist died, wearing one of the barrels, slept in the cold. We're working on the cold thing right now. Uh, once the cold snap goes away in like one day, it's just it's not it's not even gonna be an issue anymore. In fact, most of our fire is burnt out once again, interestingly enough, which means I really need to have a higher priority on refueling. So let's do that right now. Let's go to haul. What is it? Refuel. Haul rotable items. Deliver sources to frames. Nope. Take battle. Ah, here we go. Refuel fuelable buildings. Ah, this should have always have been three. That's the problem right there. Three for pretty much everyone, except of course for the people who are. Have unload on a four. So let's do four, four here, four. These are like uh, the three people who are restricted from doing stuff. Now we should have all the refuelable fires and braziers and stuff being fueled very consistently. Uh, now, I got two more things to do over here and we're finally done gearing up all of our new awesome stuff. It's going to be super cool. Wait, we just made some too. Pretty soon I'm going to not allow these. Oh, look at those. They look awesome. And then we're replacing them with these little lame things. But in any event, back here, we got to fix up helmets, and then we have to do actual armor. So for helmets, I'm going to make death masks. Whoops. Double click there by mistake. These are going to be for the melee characters. Do until X. We're going to go down to one. Great. Details. Same here as before. 52%. Whatever. Uh, next up, we're going to do for the archer characters something a little bit lighter. And I'm not sure what. We have bassinets and conical bassinet. I'm just going to go for basic bassinets, I guess. I have no idea why. I'm just, just grabbing whatever. Uh, I think that the only difference really is the look. So let's do 52 there. Good. Stream break risk. Dreegree's fine. A cow has miscarried due to starvation. Really? So now hunter lacks ranged weapon. Who's this? Dreegree. I understand that. The cows aren't technically starving on the list, but they are indeed starving enough that they're miscarrying. And there's not a huge amount. I could make, uh, we're down to five jerked meats and 13 stews. We're going to have to find some food. And the only food we have, of course, is hunting. So let's hunt pretty much everything on the map. And that'll get automatic. We'll hunt these alpacas as well. All these, boars. you know what? We can, we can take boars. I don't care if there's a boar revenge. We'll just kill all the boar. Everything on the map, hunt it. Good. You guys take care of that while I finally finish up on the most important thing of all. Armor. So for armor... Royal Deathplate Armor and Cape. How cool does that sound, right? 
Uh, in reality, though, there's a prison break. What? Hold the phone, guys. Get on this. Whoa. How the hell did Red get a ballista? Who the heck? What the hell? What? Guys, whole town, get over here, actually. What the heck? This isn't a prison break. This isn't a craziness. Holy bananas. Red somehow managed to get an arbalist or something. Meanwhile, Dreegory doesn't even have a weapon somehow. Dreegory, did you drop your weapon? I have no idea. All right, everybody get back to what you were doing. And let's come up here and recapture Red. What the heck? Where did Red get that? What a sneaky sneaker. Dreegory, were you in the room or whatever when you when you got knocked out? I have... How the... What the... Who? Okay. Well, that's what happened. Not a big deal. Red, are you going to be all right? Yep, you'll get taken care of just fine. Such a strange thing, like, out of nowhere. Anyway, for the 17th time, we've got our helmets. Yes. Do we have the filters? Yes. Uh, the last thing we need is actual armor. Let's speed this up a little bit. I know this uses an insane amount of steel. This is going to take us a very long time, but we'll get there. So I think what we're going to do is brigandine. Just do a basic brigandine. That's going to be our light armor for most of the archers. And this gives movement speed minus 5, but a decent amount of protection, so I think we're okay with that. We'll do something like 52 or something, and then let's do something really awesome, like Royal Death Plate Armor. Zelda has miscarried from starvation. Do until X. Same deal. Let's go down, down, 1, 1. Uh, come back here. Uh, hit points, 52. Let's make the light armor. Okay, we are making the light armor before the heavy armor. Awesome. But otherwise, we're going through the list like this, and quite frankly... I feel like the full plated boot should be first. That'll help us with movement speed, I believe. Let me just make sure on that because it's 8% movement speed. Yes. Uh, so why don't we make those actually all the way up before the bra- Actually, you know what? The arches braces are even better. So let's make them in this order because this will help us do work speed. Awesome. And there we go. We are set up for all awesome super armor stuff in the near future. Meanwhile, up here, we're still making tunics, suspended uh, trousers, summer capes, and tailored socks for everybody, which is fine. And now I need to set up this if it ever gets done being made. Speaking of being done being made, whoa, we did haul all of these bricks. But unfortunately, we don't have any slate. Well, here's some granites. Is there any slate anywhere nearby? No. Wow, we, we actually have to make a... Quarry, apparently. There's just Well, here's some slate. Let me grab that. Ooh, that's actually a lot of slate. I don't really want to haul too much of that, but let's at least grab like this and haul that up to get the basic stuff and then maybe all of this stuff here as well. If I can manage to grab it, all of you guys haul. Awesome. Coal snap is finally over. Esme miscarried due to starvation. Yep, we are down to three meals right now. This is very, very, very brutal. Very brutal. Can you guys believe? Can you guys believe that that's what the felts amounted to? Just murdering puppies? He was, would have been a great character, too, but no. But no, he had to go murder all puppies because he had to whine like a snivelly whiny puss because there's blood outside on the street that no one cares about. Literally no one cares about. He was inches away, also, from not having a, another an issue. Like, <laughs> everything was clean inside. All he had to do was walk outside and sit there for like an hour and he would have been fine. Uh, we're actually out of space here for the slate, so something I'm going to need to do is extend this stockpile a little bit. So we get some slate uh, spots right there. Let's go to the animals really quick. Let's take the working, working dogs, rather, and uh, once again, uh, we'll unrestrict them for a while so they can haul all those uh, slate chunks for us all over the place. Fantastic. I'll put them back sometime soon. And then in terms of the chickens, let's go over here and find clear allowed areas of the chickens. Yep, they're no longer allowed to eat our meals. We don't have any meals anyway. They are allowed to wander out there as much as they want. I hope they go for it, though. I guess they just don't want to go that far. I mean, there's this food out here. It looks like some grass. Can we allow them in here? Cow has miscarried. Alpaca has miscarried. Yeah, we just lost like a hundred. Okay, there we go. Let's allow the chickens out here to eat some of this grass, like right in the front. I'm not enthusiastic about them staying out there, but, you know, what are you going to do? And we do indeed have all the things set to sewing, which is perfect. Okay. Well, that's a million and a half things queued up. I'm thinking it might make... Beavers! Just in time. I need meat. Let's grab all of these guys and hunt them down. Also, maybe I should start putting in these walls. Maybe not, though. I have queued up quite a few things. Most notably, a considerable amount of hauling. There's some slate chunks, at least. Get that out of the way. 
I can't wait till these braziers get put in. They're going to look so good. But of course, that requires more slate, and we're almost completely out of slate. Speaking of, here's a bunch of slate. Let's haul that stuff in. Just because it happens to be nearby. Granite chunk. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, nice. Oleg's out here sowing the fields. Drigri sowing the fields. Ellis is sowing the fields. Constantine sowing the fields. This is perfect. Let's actually not sow the trees, though, right away. Don't care as much about those right now, even though we're down to 780 wood. Did all my fires burn out? Not quite, but we can indeed deconstruct the one, or actually the two, that did not. Good. This is, like, super awesome. Uh, except that this isn't quite set up yet, but I'll work on that when the time comes. In the meantime, we got us a marble shrine of the creator, Beauty 19. Very, very, very shoddy, this, apparently. But we're going to go install it. This is like our shrine to Odin, and we need to have it probably... I'm not sure where. We can't put it there. We can put it here, <gasps> right between the braziers. But that would look a little bit weird, because people would have to walk around it. Maybe, like, right here? Yes. Awesome. Let's put that in. That is just super, super, super duper cool. I am a big fan of that. We got all kinds of rugs and stuff we can put in as well to really spruce the place up. And you know, quite frankly, let's do it. Let's find some big rugs. Alpaca, alpaca, wool, large rug, 75 beauty. Good Lord, Coda. This covering is shaped like server cats, indoctrinating a Labrador retriever in obedience as the Labrador retriever thinks of the simpler days when she was a feral beast. The Labrador Retriever looks puzzled. There is a mesa off to one side. The work is executed in a Dadist style? Dadaist style? I don't, know, I don't even know what that is. That's how learned I am. Let's install this here. Red, you can ponder this Dadist style or whatever the hell. Because I'm sure that's really something you do with your time, right? Wow, that got put in super fast. Flash storm, fine. Animal starvation on all the hens and all the cows. Well... I am letting them out. I mean, we are cooking up some more meals from all this butchering. I could allow them there if I really, really, really wanted to. I prefer, though, that the grass just grew and they went outside and ate it. So that would be, like, much, much, much more ideal. I think I can just allow it to happen, and, like, when they get really, really incapable of moving, someone will bring them a meal, worst-case scenario. So we'll let that go. Uh, and then in the meantime... Let's see if I had anything else on my list here, really, that's super important. Whoa, 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 Drigri hit a trap. Drigri, you know these traps are here. This is You only hit, like, a, a little stupid trap, though. That wasn't, like, a big trap, so... Whoa! Whoa! Okay, despite that not being a big trap, that nearly... Well, I guess it didn't nearly decapitate. It just looks... It looks bad. It's not, it's not actually that bad. You're fine. You're absolutely fine. Koda and Oleg out here sowing the fields. Great. There is a lot of sewing to do. Constantine, Ellis, Alma, Oleg, Coda. We have half the colonies basically working on it. And also, I do realize that I could like drop my weapons and punch people who are assassinating animals, but I don't I don't feel like they deserve that courtesy. Like they're not dropping their weapons and punching out my chickens. So no. You stab chickens, you get stabbed. If you live or die, well, I guess it's in Odin's hands, as they say. As they say. Animal starvation is going down. Yes, awesome. They're all coming out here and eating up. Perfect. Only, only two cows remain here. Awesome. All right, well, wow. This actually is getting sown very, very, very fast. Jaina, Sh Shaheem, and Osnog all working on cleaning here. There's our statue all put in. I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, and right, I needed to actually dig this out here. So let's mine that out and mine this out to complete the complete the look. Now, I realize this is not the same as this, which is kind of awful. But the problem is I can't actually fix that because this barely fit as it was. And I can't mine these top ones out. Maybe later I'll dig all around and replace most of them. But the problem is we're still going to have these three up here and these three right there that are never going to get fixed. So it's a work in progress regardless. Work in progress. Now, who is my secondary crafter here? You know what? It was the felts. I knew something felt wrong there. We're going to have to get made... Wow, Drigri's so busy with hunting, cooking, growing, mining, plant cutting. I don't really want to put him on crafting also. I mean, I suppose I could because we need someone just like chopping blocks. 
But he is, he's already pretty low on the cooking. He's just kind of a backup cook for the most part. He's like actually a tertiary cook. We don't even need him to cook at all. I just want him to have a little bit of cooking skill in the event that one of the other cooks dies. And growing is like a seasonal thing anyway. Mining is very important, and he's actually the best miner. Oh yeah, the felt was a miner too, but he was taken out. I guess I just have to live with only the one Ellis doing all the construction in the entire town. The entire town. That being said, let's switch her over to crafting on a three and put uh, smithing up to a four. And that way she will make all these blocks so we can get our construction going, which will be really awesome. Oh, wow. This almost all got filled with, like, granite and marble from I don't even know where. God, those hounds do a really good job when you have 300 of them and they're unrestricted. Nice. All Most of the fields are sown. We're on the 8th of April, May. The season started on the 6th. Look at this. Four, five, six, seven people working on this. That's what I want to see. As soon as the spring comes, bam, whole colony group effort. Plant every single plant in the whole universe. Meanwhile, like the basic task here of Shaheem and Jaina cleaning stuff up and milking cows is still getting done. Food's still getting not made because we actually have zero. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Got a little bit distracted there. Alpha beavers, apparently I didn't hunt them all. That alpaca will hunt that. Great. Tortoise, nah, let's hunt some turkeys instead though. And gazelles, there we go, we can hunt all these guys, awesome. Whoops, one more, done. Mental break, food binge, Oleg. I don't know what food you're eating, Oleg, but okay. <laughs> go for it, apparently. Yep, everyone's still full. And we got one cheese. God, we had so much food at one point, but now we have pretty much none. Pretty much, new lovers! <gasps> Who is it, guys? Who is it? This is, this is, whoa, Constantine and Alma. How the hell does the 90-year-old, like, frail, double-asthma back-back guy pick up all the females in town? You gotta be kidding me. He's 74 years old. I don't even understand. Attempted to woo Alma into a romance. Alma agreed and is now Constantine's lover. Okay. They barely even knew each other. That's insanity. It must have been a really, really low chance. Constantine. Wow, I just... Okay. 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 I. You know what? I, you, once upon a time, like before I started recording RimWorld episodes, I made a series, like a, a like a private series to test so I could get myself familiar with what I'm doing. Yeah, because, you know, I was so familiar with what I was doing when I started this. But anyway, um, Constantine... Not Constantine. I had six colonists, and all of them were in relationships. Like, instantly. Then I got two more colonists instantly in relationship. I had four relationships. It was so insanely easy. Everyone was super happy all the time, and I only had to have, like, half the beds in the entire place. It made no sense. Uh, and speaking of beds, though, let's get Constantine over here, and we'll toss... Uh, Drieger, you're out of there. We'll toss in Ulma. Fantastic. I wasn't Ulma down here before. Yeah, that was Server Cat's room at one point. God, look how clean everything is. It's ridiculous. Look how sown all the fields are. Literally, almost all the fields. We're working on the very, very, very last ones here. This is absolutely incredible. Then I gotta, of course, replant the trees. That's gonna be important. We're down to 700 wood, which is okay. That's a decent stockpile. It'll keep all the braziers lit and whatnot. And as soon as you guys are done there, here, have another whole thing to harvest, and here, have another whole thing to harvest. Go for it, guys. Now, I'm curious how many of these um, armored things we're making. The answer is probably not very many. I'll get back to that in a little bit. For now, I actually want to keep an eye on Ellis. Where is she? She's out here hanging out with someone that just in the rain for some odd reason. Ellis and Coda making friends. Interesting. They don't really like each other, but they're giving it they're giving it a chance. Killed colony animal minus five. That was one of the, the de deals there. Explains uh, sorry, exchanged a lot of pleasantries. Shared deep thoughts with Coda. Had a conversation about inventing things with Coda. Okay. But ultimately, though, Ellis st still doesn't really... Where the heck did Coda go? Right here? I think it actually went down. Conversation about inventing things, negative nine. Well, I guess it just doesn't work. It was one of those awkward situations where you're like, all right, this guy's here. I guess we should try to hang out or, or, or something. And then you go out someplace and they're like, hey... I am like the sports, and the other guy's like, yeah, but, um, World of Warcraft is the thing. <laughs> oh, God, that's literally happened to me many, many, many times. Although, to be fair, I was quite the sportsman in my youth. 
quite the sportsman. Had to develop all that muscle memory for when I was sitting in the chair 20 years later. Uh, what's going on here? Does everyone get food? Nope, we've got absolutely none. Let's get down here. Turkey, turkey. We'll hunt another turkey. And that's it. We're actually hunting everything on the map that we can indeed be hunting. And in end, I'm concerned here because hunting's on a priority of four and everyone's doing growing on a three and we have literally no food. Let's just shift click hunt up one here. Just for just briefly. There we go. Look at that. Bam. Everyone starts hunting now. We'll bring in a lot of meals. That'll be great. And that'll carry us through until the first rice harvest harvest. That won't be that 50 minutes. I honestly thought I was playing for five. I cannot believe I've been playing for 50 minutes. A lot of good stuff though has, has happened here. And indeed, I have actually done everything on my list that I wanted to do. Yep, every single thing, except for the walls. I didn't actually place the walls. I did want to start making granite walls, but I'm feeling like there's other stuff that's more important right now. So I'm just going to let it go for a little bit. God, oh, you know what? Oh, here's one of the things I was thinking about doing. Let's uh, just let's build a copy of this marriage spot up there for now. And let's deconstruct this one. I want to move this so it's slightly more centered. Something like that. Or alternatively, I could make a second one now that I'm thinking about it. I could have two as they come in. That would be cool. Is this one? Here we go. Ooh, this one's 75. Coda, once again. On this work is an image of Ellist finally giving up under stress because of the stress. What? Finally giving up under stress because of the stress. <laughs> She seems totally unaware of what is around her. Coda seems totally unaware of what the frigging artwork is supposed to be. If you squint your eyes, the well-balanced composition of the image reveals the outline of a kangaroo. This work is infused with the idea of cataclysm and is done in a datist style once again. All right, I guess that's something. Let's install that over here, maybe like this. Let's grab this one and actually reinstall it like that. Or po Oh, there we go. That's what I want. Let's do that, and like this, we'll grab this marriage spot. Let's put a, build a copy of it right in between the two, and then we'll grab that one right there and deconstruct it. Fans that. You know what we do not have is a party spot? Although I'm pretty sure they'd throw the party here anyway, but just in case they're complete morons, let's uh, throw it right there. Awesome. Nice. That's pretty cool. Can you hide these things? No, I wish you could. That would be awesome. Then again, you'd probably never be able to see them again, so... What's going on? Red Ant has gotten food poisoning from turkey meat. Hen 1 has died because of alcohol. How are you guys even getting in the alcohol still? How does this happen so much? Whole... Well, how... What? <sighs> how? How? I don't get it. Did I screw... I must have screwed something up somehow. All right. All the working dogs... You guys go back to working dogs, right? Every one of you. The hens are allowed in chicken. They're only allowed in chicken. Let's come over here. Zone area. Okay. Zone area. Clear the allowed area of chicken. They're allowed in there. They're not even allowed down here. They're not allowed up there. They're not allowed over here. Was there a ton of alcohol out here that someone had dropped? Or more likely, are there some hens somewhere else on the list? No. Hen, hen. They're in the... Ch How? Okay. Well, somehow they got their hands on some alcohol, and there goes a whole bunch of hens. This is less than ideal. I'm gonna need, uh... I'm actually gonna need all of their eggs. Do we have any more roosters, though, is the question. Because I may have... Yeah, I do still have... Okay, let's do this. Let's, let's, let's just restrict these guys. I can't restrict them because I don't have any food to feed them. I actually have to let them wander out there, okay? And then maybe if they lay some eggs or whatever, we can immediately emergency haul them back. Uh, let's indeed make sure this this thing is on critical. Yes, it is. And it is eggs fertilized. Great. That's all we need. You guys are working on sowing those forests. This forest up here is nearly done as well. Constantine's feeding beer. T Whoa! Now I understand what's going on. Constantine, are you a moron? This is what you do in your spare time for fun? You feed drunk hens alcohol? Well, I guess it makes sense because we have literally no food in the colony. Why would they think to feed them? Oh my god, Oleg's feed. 
You guys are so dumb, though. Well, they are Vikings. I mean, I could literally see this happening in real life. They run out of food. They're like, ah, just feed the heads the beer. They'll be fine. Bunch of drunken chickens slobbering down the streets. Oh, that's just great. Oma. Oh, you're, you're not actually a hunter, right? Let's go back here on the four on the hunting. Is there anything left to hunt? Uh, there is actually a whole bunch of boars and stuff. Let's hunt all of these and put that back up. But just like that, I think I'll leave the tortoise tortoises alone. Great. Oh, wait, was there an alpaca up at the top? Yes, let's hunt that. Okay. Let's try it one more time because my mouse isn't working. There we go. Awesome. Uh, back to work tab. And indeed, everyone go on the hunts except for the nines. We'll get rid of those. Great. Awesome. Uh, okay. There is grass up there, so let's do this. Let's go orders, expand allowed areas, chickens. Chickens, you can come up here and, like, eat all of this stuff. There is so much grass up there. Eat all the grass. Fantastic. Expand the... Okay, let's actually expand the allowed area for animal area. What? No, they already have it. They can already go in there. You guys can come over here. You can come over here. Great. I prefer you didn't go out there. Awesome. Chickens, are you allowed in the front yard? You are... And there is indeed some food out there. I'll expand it a little bit more. Something like this or so. We'll get, we'll get rid of that pretty soon. And here comes the final tree sowings. God, we went through all of that stuff insanely fast. Absolutely insanely fast. The only thing we don't have is food. And we'll have a bunch of that very, very, very soon. Because we'll be a ton of rice and stuff being harvested. Is, is actual people starving? Yeah, Server Cat and Oleg are starving, but you know what? We're going to take care of that in two seconds here. Come on, guys. Butcher these things up. The animals are actually eating all of the boars just raw. They don't care. They don't care. Cow 2 is no longer capable of walking. Hen 8 has died because of Psychoid T. That seems legit. They're wandering around out here eating it up. It's good. It's a fine... The only thing I need to do, though, is come back to work tab and make sure hunting is not so high on the people who are cooking. So, there we go. Perfect. So we still have several people cooking. Most importantly, though, Dot. Dot is always doing the cooking. At least she should be. You know what? She's not doing it. Let's just prioritize, like, one quick thing here because no one's doing anything right now for food. When everyone wakes up, I want to have a ton of food. There we go. Bunch of boars. Fantastic chicken. Let's see if she immediately comes in here and smokes up like 10 meats. Yes, she does. Oh, guys, Ellis, you can wait two seconds. Oh, whoops, I actually screwed that up. Dot, come back here. Oh, God. Oh, no. Ellis, don't eat that meat. Oh, God, server cat. No, stop running away with the meat. All I had to do was not alert Dot. We would have been fine. You guys stop eating the meat. There'll be real meals for you in three, two, one. Actually, now. Go for it. Go for it. No, server cat? Server cat, there's meat right there. Feeding pork to red. Why wouldn't you feed this meal to red right there? Is it because it's not counted? Because it's not in a stockpile? Because it should be. There we go. Okay, we are desperately, desperately, desperately low on food right now. Like, unbelievably desperately slow on food. I can't believe it got this bad, actually. Hunt, hunt. Ooh, Mufalos. Problem solved. Luckily, there's just an endless amount of animals coming in. All these boars as well. Hunt them all, every single one. Mufalos, though, for sure. We'll solve all of our problems once we hunt those guys up. All right, everything's sewn. All of that's sewn. All of this is sewn. Actually, not quite. Technically, there's still a couple more things here, but once that's done, we'll be in business. Come on, guys. Alma and Oleg, finish it up. Barely have some animal starvation. Tattered apparel. Tattered apparel is going down a little bit. Was worse before. That or I'm just killing everyone. Come on, Alma. You got like, what, two more trees here? That's weird. I'm going to guess there's going to be one tree here and one tree there. She's going to have to cut these trees out for some reason to plant them. I guess that makes sense with, like, roots and stuff. You don't want the trees nearby, like, soaking up all the nutrients and whatnot. But this is the last one with Oleg. And voila! The sowing season is done. Absolutely done. Now, Ellis, what are you working on here? Cutting stone blocks from chunk. Awesome. So gradually, I'm thinking we're getting these things done. Yeah, she cranks through those things super, super fast. 
And our meals should be incoming any time now, as soon as Dot decides to go cook. Cooking a weak stew. Yep, she just got eight, eight stews in there. And voila! No longer is food going to be a problem. Well, that was a close one. I'm going to need to do something about that. I'm going to need like 10,000 jerk meats before we decide to leave. Whoa, wild boar revenge. Oh, God. Who's this on? Drigri. Drigri, you think you got this? There's actually two boars there, Drigri. You may not got this. Jaina, come on over. Come on over. Help out the Drigri, friends. Help out the Drigri. I don't believe Drigri's going to handle this on his own. He is getting actually beaten. Oh, yep. There he goes. He's down. Not even close. Jaina, take down this thing. I think... Oh, you got that war hammer, though. Come on, Jaina. Smack the boar! Oh, actually, that was the first boar. Oh, nice! Jaina put that thing down super fast. Second boar, bam, taken care of. And then get off of alert, go back to whatever it was you were doing. Awesome. Someone will take care of Drigri, I'm pretty sure. We don't have to worry about it. Unless Drigri's gonna die. Yeah, he's gonna die in 16 hours, but I'm sure someone will come out here and save him. Maybe even one of the pups or whatnot. All right, once again, I have inadvertently made an hour-long episode. We did actually have some minor issues, but we seem to be coasting through them with very little effort. All I gotta do is, like, reduce my hunting back down to the four priority as soon as we get a rice harvest, which is gonna be in 66%, probably, like, two days. Then we'll have tons of food, no problems whatsoever. I'm gonna need to install a mod to make them not eat the jerk meats and only eat the stews so we can make a stockpile of those. Uh, and we're getting this thing here. I can pr set up the priorities of all of these things so that basically I'm going to have archers gear on the left and then I'm going to have uh, the melee characters gear on the right. So I think there's four physical armor items and then there's going to be like one weapon or maybe two weapons. I don't know. We'll figure it out. It won't be that it won't be that difficult once I get the whole thing set up. It's going to be really cool though like our little own little armory in there. Maybe I'll have to move this thing out of the way so it's not blocking the stairs. Speaking of blocking the stairs, eh, they can run around there. I'm sure someone's like super OCD triggered about this kind of ziggy zaggy, but gonna have to get over it. Uh, then again, I'm pretty sure whoever would have been triggered by that thing has been triggered by this thing. <laughs> All right, I think that just about does it. Very successful episode. We're gearing up, we're preparing, we're getting there. Let's just quickly look through everybody. What kind of... Uh, Scaled plates, armor... Yeah, we're not really... There we go. Archer's Bracer superior 99%. That's what I'm talking about. Although Dot really shouldn't be wearing them. I'm going to have to go through the priorities and set up two sets of clothing. One for archers and one for melee. Dot's a melee character, so... She's not going to be wearing that for too much longer. But oh my god, it's so efficient and everything is working. Minus the loss of the felts, which is unfortunate. But what are you going to do? What are you going to... And there's my meals. 31 weak stews and 14 jerked meats. Oh, yeah. They're incoming. Mufalos are getting chopped. Hens are eating. This is a good time to be alive, I feel. The only question is, where the heck are all my eggs going? I have zero fertilized eggs. Maybe I'll just start putting some kibble in here and, and restricting the hens to that area so they produce more. Or maybe they'll all die out in my dreams of having, like, actual eggs for the winter. We'll just never, ever, ever come into being. I don't know. Who can really say? I guess we'll find out in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. We can recover from this, though, because luckily, Feltz didn't kill all of... Oh, he's going. He's on. He's going. He's a melee attacking cow. No, you're not, Feltz. No, you're not. Guess what? That's it. We're done with you. Put him down, guys. There we go. Feltz has been stabbed to death, and guess what, Feltz? You're not even getting the freaking coffin. We don't even care. Nobody cares.